All right, we're in the greenhouse and we got a bunch of uh, legumes here. Some peas, um, some Anasazi beans, some black beans, all different types, peas. And this is uh, our seeds we saved from last year. Um, and we want to talk about today inoculant. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it and are interested in what it is. It looks kind of like dirt when you buy it. I just took some out of the bag there. And what it is is a bacterium called rhizobium. And rhizobium works uh, in concert with legumes. So this has to be present in the soil in order for these guys to grow correctly. If you don't have enough of this, you're going to get really poor results with these. So the easiest way to get enough of this, well, what do you think, Alan? Soak them in it. Yeah, that's one way to do it. So today we're going to show you a couple ways to get your inoculant onto your legumes. Now this can be used for all legumous vegetables, shrubs, trees, whatever you're growing. But you need to have the rhizobium in the soil. So the easiest way to put the rhizobium in the soil is to do this. Let's come over here. This is the easiest way to do it. Here's my peas. Now, most people that plant peas will soak these overnight before they plant them, but it doesn't matter if you're in a greenhouse because it's so humid in here. Um, the easiest way is to throw your seeds in the ground and guess what? Put some inoculant in there. That's it. And that way you know this rhizobium is right at the seed. So that's all you do. Just put a little bit in there and cover it up. Done. And then as you water, it may spread in there. So that's uh, technique number one for lazy people. And technique number two, if you're going to soak your seeds, like a lot of people do, so six to 12 hours, is to put the seeds you're going to soak in a glass jar like this. Add a little bit of the rhizobium, maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Take a look how much is in there, Alan. And then, final step is, you need a zero water. You need distilled water or your own zero water. Because if I add tap water to this and it has chlorine in it, it's going to kill the rhizobium. Pretty simple. Then you just add a little bit of water and stir that baby up. Now sometimes the rhizobium doesn't break up, it stays in balls, so that's why you want to make sure you stir it. You can even see that chunking up in there. Yes, we do. And that's fine. Uh, soak it like this. You don't want to soak this for, uh, when you're inoculating with water like this, you don't want to soak it for more than a few hours. So once you get past three hours, what you're actually doing is the rhizobium is going to drown. So it can't be underwater too long. So make sure you just soak it for about an hour or two. Uh, and then you put this whole thing in the ground. You put all the inoculant and the liquid as you're planting. It's that simple for excellent results. Now what this does, the rhizobium does, is it's a bacteria that as the plant is growing in the root structure is able to fix nitrogen to the roots and these nitrogen uh, nodules you can actually see them if you pull up a a plant where this is where there's good rhizobium in the soil the roots will actually have circular nodules that is nitrogen and then when that plant dies if you don't pull the roots out of the ground you just cut it flush chop and drop that nitrogen is left in the soil for the next year so you're pre fertilizing with your own crop and the best way to get the best results and the best fixing of nitrogen is to add rhizobium now we got this from true leaf market in bulk um, so this is about I don't know this is a lot I think this cost me like maybe 20 bucks delivered but this is enough forever as long as we keep it in a cool dark place it will last forever and we can inoculate all of our and take a look at these get a close-up of these speckled peas these are awesome these are crazy. Wow. And all of these Anasazis last year in this bag, I think, Alan. <laughs> wasn't this from two plants? Two, two seeds. Two single seeds equals this many. So if you want success and good results, get yourself an inoculant, put it directly in the ground near your beans or seeds, or soak them in it just for a few hours. Hope you got something out of the video. Hey, man.